Good day folks, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm and I thought I'd share this little tip uh, regarding Wireshark and using the IO graph. So here's the trace file I got. It's uh, 4,139 packets. I'm going to go to statistics, IO graph and that popped up on my other screen so let me just drag that over here like so and resize it. There we go. So there's my IO graph and I'm going to look at all packets. Why not? there's all the packets so what's important to understand here is if I move this out of the way and watch the packet number here on the left hand side I'm gonna just click around see that jump to 257 click around so if you pay attention here at the bottom of the not the bottom kind of the midway part of the screen it actually tells you the packet number and where it is in the packet as far as the time goes so that one's 471 4 seconds uh, 214 kind of like that so you keep moving around and you can click so when you say oh there's a big spike here click and you can find out what happened ideally what you do is if you do find a spike you don't really want to look at that because at that point you know the barn doors are open and the horses are out by then so you probably want to go just a bit before that to see what happened and that's kind of how we that's one way of using the IO graphs now I ran into something a little bit interesting <laughs> this week which kind of threw me for a loop somebody was having a problem with their IO graph and they were saying it just wasn't working for them they could click but it wasn't jumping around and I was like I don't know what's going on there sometimes if you have a display filter and you click on something it's not part of the displayed packets that's a different kind of problem that's not what he was saying and then it took a while and check this out this is what happened so down here time of day so instead of this uh, 0 2.5 seconds kind of like a stopwatch you know, running total kind of time I'm going to click time of day. So now you have the time of day. So you know the date and the time. And again, now now watch watch the left side here. I'm going to click. See? Nothing. See? So just a kind of FYI, you know, if you do find that it's not working, it doesn't work with time of day. I don't know if it's a bug or not. Um, I'll file it when i got a minute or two. And if I uncheck it and I come back here, see? Now it works again. All right. So you can do two things. You, you can either just find what point you're interested in, like right about there, and then when you go to time of day, you can find out what that is, like time-wise, or you can just click on it, and then down here in the actual packet details, this will tell you the time anyways, right? So there's a, there's a few ways to work around it, but just so you know, there's that to contend with. All right, have a good day. Bye for now. Thank you.